good to go. Officially 10 p.m. All right, started a few seconds early, just in case. Let me make sure we're all up and running here on my laptop. But yeah, here we go, kicking things off on the Noah Nation YouTube channel for the very first time, the inaugural Tuesday Night Toys uh, bi-weekly live streams that we're going to be doing uh, here on the channel. Very excited. Uh, got a whole bunch of toy news to talk about from the last week, um, especially from the last week um, with WWE figures, AEW figures, WWE Funko Pops, Star Wars Funko Pops. So yeah, good chunk of stuff lined up that we're going to talk about here. And uh, in just a minute, but yeah, so this is going to be the first uh, inaugural edition, like I said, of Tuesday Night Toys. So a little, I, I don't know, toy news concept thing I wanted to start doing. Um, I always still, like I, like in the past you know, week, I made multiple videos talking about you know new uh, Star Wars Funko Pops coming out, new WWE figures, new WWE Funko Pops. So I've already kind of talked about some of the news, um, but I wanted to start doing more consistent live streams here on the channel. And I thought this would be a cool uh, little thing to do come on here and I'd, I'm going to do it bi-weekly because sometimes there's not a lot of toy news to talk about within one week. Um, so I figured two weeks in a live stream, um, you know, and we'll go like that will be enough time for toy news to come out. Um, I can, you know, in future editions show some, you know, pickups, like, you know, stuff I picked up, like, you know, unboxings and whatnot for the toy collection. You know, if there is not a lot of news in one week, we can do that on here as well. Um, we're just going to be doing a whole lot of just toy related stuff on these live streams. Um, like I said, we're going to be doing them bi-weekly, so I'm very excited. First inaugural edition, January 26, 2021. Um, of course, it is a Tuesday night, and of course, we are live, so we're going to have to deal with some dogs barking and uh, stuff like that. Uh, hopefully not for long, but it is what it is. But yeah, um, I also want to give a special shout-out to uh, Mike Pico, at we the Pico on Twitter. I hit him up. He made the Tuesday Night Toys official logo, so shout-out to him. Um, he absolutely killed it. I had this very vague idea in mind, something with the WCW Nitro colors, just because Tuesday Night Toys, TNT, I thought of Nitro. Um, so yeah, he, he absolutely killed the logo. Shout out to him. Um, like I said, at We the Pico on Twitter, thank you very much for making the logo for Tuesday Night Toys. Um, but yeah, like I said, we got a whole bunch of stuff to talk about. So I got my Google Docs that I've been typing in for the last few days here. And unfortunately, you know, I'm still, Luke, what's going on? Uh, unfortunately, you know, this is, I don't have, you know, a bunch of equipment at my fingertips. I'm not one of those, you know, live streamers that's going to be hitting buttons and it's just like, hey, oh, here's what we're talking about. It hits the button, picture comes up on the screen. I don't have those capabilities. Um, but anybody who wants to, you know, see any of the things we're talking about, like the AW figures, WB figures, whatever else, um, maybe I can make like a, like a tw Twitter thread afterwards, like of all the stuff we talked about on the stream and, uh, you know, so, like, anybody who doesn't maybe know what I'm talking about can go look at my Twitter and, like, see, like, oh, those were the AEW figures he was talking about, something like that. Um, for now, you know, hopefully in the future I would love to have some kind of setup, um, and I'll probably need to do some kind of streaming software, um, in the future. But just some kind of setup where I can hopefully, you know, be talking about something, and obviously we're live, I can't edit it in afterwards. Um, but, like, so, you know, we can hit a button and, you know, pictures can come up on the screen. Um, and then, you know, so we can kind of all see what we're talking about. At the same time, I wasn't too worried about that because, you know, if you listen to a podcast such as, you know, the Major Wrestling Figures podcast, you're listening to the podcast. You don't see the things they're talking about. Obviously, we all kind of know. You can go on social media, so that's why I wasn't super worried about it. But it still is what it is. Um, I might have made the logo, but what you did with the thumbnail slash promo pic was so sick. I looked at it. It was like, my God, this looks <laughs> so professional. Yeah, thank you again. Uh yeah, I was going for that whole, like, I just, the TNT thing popped in my head, something with WCW Nitro popped in my head, so I was like, I don't even have any idea of how to, like, put this logo together, so you absolutely killed it, um, I just thought about that, like, steel-looking background, um, and then obviously I just added all the info on there, but yeah, a good, a good tag team, uh, teamwork on that, um, I think it all came together very nicely, but anyway, <clears throat> go ahead and pull up my notes here, so yeah, I've been typing up a whole bunch of notes um, for all the, for for this live stream for the last few days. Um, for AW figures, we have some leaks, some announcements, some rumors, and stuff like that. Also, if you hear a little annoying noise in the background, it's just this mini fan I got on the floor because when I do these live streams, I always from talking so much I just get hot. So I had to put a fan on. Um, I also want to talk about a little bit about the Impact Wrestling Micro Brawlers that uh, got released last week. We're live. We're live. Um, that got released last week. I didn't pick any up, and I'm going to tell you why. We're going to talk about those a little bit. Um, and then a bunch of WWE figures got revealed 
uh, over the weekend. And I honestly was expecting more. A little disappointed with what we got. Um, but there is some good stuff in there, so we will talk about it. Um, we got a bunch of new WWE Funko Pops, which are probably some of the best WWE Funko Pops ever. Um, which I'm really excited uh, about those. We're going to talk about those. I'll tell you guys what I pre-ordered uh, from that set of stuff so far. Um, and we got new Star Wars stuff as well, which I'm not going to talk about too in-depth, but I will run it down after we get through all the wrestling stuff. Th this week's probably going to be majority wrestling since there's just a lot of wrestling news right now. But future weeks, you know, all depending on what the news is, you know, we might come on here and talk about more Star Wars related stuff or more Funko related stuff in general. Um, there just happens to be a lot of, you know, wrestling stuff and, you know, go figure. We got all the wrestling figures behind me, um, which I tried setting it up like in a corner of my room where you could see some Star Wars stuff and you could also see some wrestling stuff. So you can kind of get the best of both um, and whatnot. But anyway, I'm going to scroll to the top of my notes here. So first things first, we got to kick it off hot. Um, you guys can see we got some AEW figures in the background. Majority of my AEW collection is down there in this other detolf cabinet that's just like this one just on the opposite side um we got aw1 one, series one two and three <clears throat> to my uh, to my right um but we got series four officially revealed last week so here's gonna be the first thing we talk about i believe it was last week um last like monday tuesday wednesday whatever it got uh revealed good old jeremy from jazzware revealed on twitter the, uh, who would be in Unrivaled Series 4. So, um, of course, it's kind of already been out there, but like I said, this is kind of going to be the, the roundup of news and stuff like that. So even if something gets announced tomorrow, I'm not going to talk about it until two weeks from now, but whatever. Um, so Unrivaled Series 4, we're going to have a new Cody Rhodes, a new Kenny Omega, and then we have four first-time AEW action figures coming. We have Matt Hardy, Sammy Guevara, which we already knew he got announced November, October maybe. Um, and they said that he's going to be in Series 4. I forgot about it, but yeah, Sammy, Sammy Guevara are going to be in Unrivaled Series 4. We also have Santana and Ortiz, which I'm very excited about. Um, so yeah, that's going to be your Unrivaled Series 4. A lot of people were upset that we're already getting another Cody Rhodes and Kenny Omega. I really don't care. I understand why they're doing it, because it's it's a lot of... like. Uh, well, let me backtrack. I understand why they're doing it, because, you know, they got to put the recognizable faces. The, the guys that are going to sell... You know, on the shelves. At the same time, you want to get through this roster and, you know, get a lot of people. There's so many people on the roster, on the AEW roster, excuse me, that haven't had action figures um, so far. So, and I do think that's why they're introducing another set, which we're going to talk about. Um, but, yeah, I'm not huge on the idea of another Cody Rhodes and another Kenny Omega already. This is going to be the, what is this, one, two. This is going to be the third Cody Rhodes, and there's already a... Or, third, or fourth Cody Rhodes, because there's the UK exclusive Cody Rhodes that comes with the AEW toy ring. Um, there's like a Smith Toys exclusive. I don't have that. That's one of the uh, AEW figures that is eluding my collection. But this is going to be the fourth Cody Rhodes, and there's already a fifth also coming out, um, which has been leaked in the past week, which we're going to talk about. But uh, Cody out here trying to be the Cena and AJ with figures, I guess. Yeah, AJ, uh, Cena, Finn Balor, and the occasional Rock, because there's a Rock in like every fifth basic series every uh f like fifth elite series there's always a rock figure they always the, mattel always just throws out those guys finn bowers and aj styles were the the peg warmers of 20 of 2020 no doubt um especially like those those basic fins that were just like the basic blue outfit and the basic red outfit and all that stuff um but um some pictures of this uh line did actually leak and uh, i'll put this like i said i'm gonna make a twitter thread afterwards in order of everything that's uh that I talked about, so anyway, that's interesting, can go look at it, but pictures did leak of three out of the, uh, five of these figures, um, oh man, Luke is in here, um, we got, uh, Cody Rhodes, uh, his figure leaked, which I'm gonna pull up that picture, uh, for myself now, um, so his figure has, uh, I believe gold gear, uh, so technically we got four of the, out of the five, uh, or four out of the six figures that leaked. So Cody's going to be a new gold uh, attire figure. I don't know what exactly this figure is based off of. It's just an overall Cody figure, I guess. There is another Cody coming out, like I said, that we're going to talk about that is specifically based off one show. Usually all the AEW figures, they tell you on the back which um, you know event they're based off of. This Cody, I don't know yet because it's just a gold uh, attire. He's got his Nightmare t-shirt on. And it looks pretty cool. It's a new two different head scans as well. I believe this one kind of looks like the one from the... Uh, now this one's a little more smiling. Uh, from the, I was gonna say from the one from this two pack, but this two pack's kind of got more of like a smiling but angry look. I think I think the Cody is from Revolution. Uh, yeah, it might be actually. That's I don't know. Whatever it's it's basically all gold. Um, so yeah, it might be. It comes with two different head scans. 
So that's what we got uh, with the Cody so far. And then also pictures leaked of uh, Santana, Matt Hardy, and Kenny Omega. Kenny Omega is that gear that he pretty much wore the majority of 2020. Um, Santana looks like Santana. Looks honestly pretty skinny. Um, look could look a little more bulky, but I guess he's not he's not really huge, so it is what it is. Um, and then the Matt Hardy is kind of awoken Matt Hardy. Looks like kind of in his debut attire from last year, uh, but looks pretty sick. So I'm really looking forward to AEW Unrivaled Series 4. Um, like I said, four out of the six leaked. We don't know what Ortiz looks like yet. And Sammy Guevara's figure has kind of been, been out there. Like I said, they put that out there a few months ago. Um, Jeremy from Jazzwares tweeted out the picture like October, November, and said he'd be coming in Series 4. Um, so we, the only one we really don't know is uh, is Ortiz, or don't know what he looks like, I should say, is Ortiz. And uh, it's a shame we're still looking at these leaked pictures, because Jeremy from Jazzware said uh, literally two weeks ago, tomorrow, I think, two weeks from, two weeks ago tomorrow, I think, that pictures of this set were coming soon, and I don't know what soon means to uh, to him, but we still don't have any pictures from uh, AEW Unrivaled Series 4, so everybody should go tweet at uh, Jeremy, whatever his last name is, from Jazzwares, and tell them to hurry up with these pictures but uh they did put them up on ringside usually that that soon when ringside tweeted out and said like hey they're going to be up for pre-order soon they they got them up like the next day so that you know that is soon i don't know what jeremy you know means by soon but ringside actually meant soon luckily i, I didn't and that's one knock on ringside they said soon and then randomly if i didn't check twitter i would have missed out even though i'm pretty sure we'll go check right now but i'm pretty sure the figures are still up for pre-order um, some of them are, like, pre-ordered back, like, uh, like, they were originally, like, mid-March, uh, or something like that, and now it's, like, mid-April, mid, or late April, so, I, you can get everybody, actually, but Sammy Guevara is still on ringside, so that's pretty cool, um, but yeah, if I didn't check ringside, um, or I didn't check ringside's Twitter, I wouldn't have known, but we got some people in the chat right now, Luke and Mike, my longtime friends, freaking yeah, yeah, 88, who I've been watching on YouTube for the longest time, welcome to the channel for the first time. Um, well, he's my old friend, so eat me. <laughs> uh, good stuff, good stuff. Um, but yeah, so that is, uh, the first batch of pre-orders, yeah, it's gonna ship in, I think, like, early or late March, and then, yeah, you can still get everybody but Sammy Guevara on ringside, so I'm surprised that Sammy, out of all of them, sold out, but I guess he's probably the best, newest guy since Cody and Kenny have had figures. Matt Hardy, this is his first AEW figure, but obviously there's a million Matt Hardy figures from over the years, and Santana and Ortiz, their first figures as well, but I'm sure people will just overall... Maybe you'd rather have Sammy Guevara. If you get one, you have to get the other with Santana and Ortiz. And they might get more of them. I'm just guessing. Maybe because, you know, you got... You can buy them separately and you also buy the pair. So I'm just assuming. But, yeah, Sammy Guevara, the only one you can't uh, get anymore. What's the most valuable... Nyla Rose. Uh, what's the most valuable figure you own? <sighs> Figure-wise, um... I don't know. I mean, I mean, the most valuable thing I think that I got right now, I can show you. Not that the, I mean, maybe, maybe Rey Mysterio from Elite Series 1 literally got it back in 2010. It's loose, so I don't know what it goes for, like, out of the box, but I got that. Um, but I also got the, uh, common Rey Mysterio Funko Pop. There's, like, three different versions of these. There's a 7-Eleven one, and there's a San Diego Comic-Con 2014 one. Um, but this is probably the most, uh, expensive thing I got. Uh, after this would be, a General Grievous Funko Pop as well. But I think this is up in, like, the 200 range. Um, this actually... A lot of pops went up in price during the pandemic last year. I think because a lot of people were buying online, so a lot of the market went up. Um, and this pop, I know, went up from probably ranging about somewhere in the low hundreds to the high 100s, over 200 maybe. I haven't checked in a while, but this is probably the most expensive thing in my collection. Um, action figure-wise, I would honestly have to check, do you have the punk pop vinyl? I don't. The two CM Punks and the... Uh, the, Dan, the original Daniel Bryan, I'll, they haven't made another Daniel Bryan, there's only one or two, um, but the old Daniel Bryans from like 2014, 2013, whenever they originally put those out, those are at the top of my WWE list. I recently got rid of a couple of my WWE Funko Pops, some of the, you know, current people slash, you know, people that are, I don't care about, Enzo and Cass, Tupac, Elias, uh, Bailey, Sasha Banks, I cut some of them people out, I'm just sticking to my, my legends, my ruthless aggression guys, and just some of my favorites, but... Now, the Punk one's definitely at the top of my list. The Doctor will see you now. <laughs> doctor, with that, Britt Baker keeps uh, petitioning herself for an action figure. She still hasn't got one. Surprised there is no uh, women in this set. A lot of people were upset that there is no women in AEW and Rivaled Series 4. But there may be more 
or we'll, eventually will be more uh, women coming soon because we have a uh, new AEW set, which we're going to talk about in a second. Have a Daniel Bryan pop in the condition. You got me thinking about it right now. Uh, what's your least favorite fig? Like, least favorite fig in my collection? My least favorite figure in my collection. Now I gotta look. I don't know. I cut out a lot of the duds last year because I was just like, I am don't want it, don't need it. Least favorite figure. I mean, honestly, there's some of these early Rey Mysterio elites that could be a lot better. They're still cool, but they could be a lot better. Looking down here at some of my, like, current elite guy shelf. Like, some of the guys I don't care about too much, but, like, I just randomly bought. Like, I got a Lince Dorado Chase Elite down there. Not that, not that I hate Lince Dorado or anything, but he's obviously bottom of the barrel in the collection. I really don't know. That's a hard question. That is, that's a hard question because I cut so many, cut so many figures out of my collection last year. And I still got a bunch of loose stuff from like when I was a kid and like when I was loosely collecting from like, when, like when I stopped playing with figures for a couple of years and then I started getting back into collecting, but like loosely, so that would be like probably 2013, like 2015, 16. I just got some random figures that some I still have, some I got rid of from over the years. Um, but yeah, I don't know what my least, uh, absolute favorite would be. Uh, are you a fan of all the Philly teams or just the Sixers? Just the Sixers. I'm just a basketball guy. I can I can get into football like week one. Baseball, I don't give a damn about. Hockey, I don't give a damn about. But Eagles, I, I don't I don't even I honestly don't care about them either. I'm just a Sixers guy. Um, I've, that's literally the only sport I've. I, and I always started watching basketball probably five years ago. That's been the only one I can really get into. This is about figures, but jelly. Hey, we're, hey, we're here for a good time. We'll talk about anything. It might be Tuesday night toys, but. I mean, it's it's Monday Night Raw, professional wrestling, but they even sometimes they don't provide what they offer or say they offer, so <laughs> whatever. Either the Philly Rumble shows. Yeah, I was at both of them. Well, 15 and 16. 2004, uh, I wish I could say I was at that, but uh, no, 2015, 2000, or not, I said 16, 2018. Uh, 2015, I was there, and then 2018, I was there for the, the whole weekend. Um, but yeah, anyway, jumping back into the AEW figures. So that's at Unrivaled Series 4. I got a bunch of notes here because uh, earlier, or I think it was last week, uh, Jeremy from Jazzwares announced that AEW would be doing a unmatched series. So same thing as the Unrivaled, but they're going to do another series. It's going to be the unmatched series. Um, so d some of his quotes here, um, or just notes that he said, um, is that this series will be releasing this coming fall, um, which means they'll probably hit stores like the wintertime, <laughs> knowing AEW figures. Um, it says, and a direct quote from Jeremy saying it'll allow a deeper dive into AEW, which pretty much means they'll probably be doing more, um, you know, people on the roster, you know, probably, he honestly probably threw that out there because people are saying like, why are we getting another Cody? Why are we getting another Kenny? Um, but this series saying that it'll allow a deeper dive into the, um, AEW roster, um, you know, pretty much means, you know, hey, maybe we'll get a Joey Janelle figure. Maybe we'll get a fucking Nyla Rose figure, you know, that, that, which is, you know, good to know, because eventually, you know, you want to get everybody, so, uh, game plan is for Unrivaled and Unmatched to be shipped every other month, pretty much meaning Unrivaled will be, let's say, in March, and then if, if Unmatched was coming out already, then that'd be the April series, and so on and so forth, so every other month, meaning we'll get AEW figures every month, which is cool, um, so one month Unrivaled, uh, the next month Unmatched, and so forth, and these will be the same style action figures as the Unrivaled line, which is good to know because that means they'll be uh, on scale to the Unrivaled uh, figures. You won't have, like, you know, the uh, old Jax figures back in the day. You had the Ruthless Aggression figures, and then you had the Deluxe Aggression figures. So they're two completely different sets, two uh, completely different styles. So, you know, when I was a kid and I was playing with them, you kind of have, like, a randomly tall Deluxe Aggression, you know, and really big and bulky Randy Orton, and then a Ruthless Aggression Orton next to each other, and be like, why is one so much bigger than the other? Um, so it's good to know that even though they're doing two separate lines, they'll be on scale to each other, uh, which I think is, I think a lot more people would prefer, especially this day and age. I think people are a lot more picky when it comes to these action figures. You know, people were pointing out that the Dustin Rhodes figure that came out was, they thought was too, you know, tall, and same thing with John Moxley. So people are pretty picky when it comes to the size and stuff like that. So I think keeping them on the same uh, scale is definitely a good idea, unless they were going to do, you know, three and three quarter action figures but obviously that's uh no i don't think i don't think many people collect that um what do we got here luke the last time you bought a figure zach Ryder still doing z true long island story and he's bringing it back for the uh what's it called the uh major pod network this is true 
<laughs> does uh, Hikaru have a figure? She does not. Uh, Riho just got her first figure. The only woman's figure so far is Brandy Rhodes, and Riho just came out in Series 3. Uh, none announced for Series 4. Hikaru Shida and Nyla Rose got to be the next ones up, and Britt Baker. Um, I'm hoping it goes, you know, Hikaru Shida, Britt Baker, and I, I'm just assuming a Nyla Rose figure will come eventually since she was a women's champion, stuff like that. I assume they're just going to make their way down the top women until they start getting into some of the you know, lesser known women or just, you know, duds of the, of the roster, if you will. Um, but yeah, no, she doesn't have a figure yet. I'm hoping she does eventually. That's definitely on the top of my list. Uh, whatever happened to those giant WWE figures they used to make in the mid two thousands. Um, I believe you're talking about the ring giants, um, which were made by, uh, Jack specific. I actually used to have a couple of those. I think I had the Eddie Guerrero one Rey Mysterio. Um, I would love to go back and, uh, start collecting some of those old ones. They did a lot of them. Um, I want to say they started those in probably 05, 06, and went for probably a solid two, three years. And there was a good uh, chunk of series. They didn't go too deep into the roster, but you did get a lot of mid-carters. Like, Matt Hardy had one, Carlito had one, Finley had one. Um, and they, they don't go for super high money, but you'll see them sometimes you know, going for $100 or something like that. Or you can still find one, maybe loose, um, or maybe it'll be in box, but the box will be beat up. For maybe like a, a $30, $40 range. I'd, I've never seen them go for super high. But they're always, you know, the minimum like a $30, $40. Bucks. It's just, just because they're old. And since wrestling figures overall the market has gone up in the past few years. Um, I think I saw like $120-ish. Um, except for the Chase figures. What are we talking about here? Brandy, aka the rarest figure ever. Yeah, uh, Brandy Rhodes. I don't, I don't know if anybody ever found her in stores. They didn't ship her the first time around. Um, when AEW Series 1 was hitting stores, I don't know why they didn't ship her with it. Um, so I, I went and just, luckily I bought one on ringside, but I didn't ever find Brandy in stores. Um, so yeah, realistically, she might technically be the rarest AEW figure that has come out yet. And uh, even though, if you're not buying them on ringside, it's pretty much impossible to find AEW figures in stores. If your store's getting them, they're getting like two cases worth, two cases worth, excuse me, which mo most of the time means two of every figure, so competition is uh is tough when your stores aren't getting uh very much of pretty much anything um a penelope f uh, figure with the jacket and sunglasses would be pretty sweet that would be pretty sweet i would love for AEW to start doing uh two packs i know that's feels like that's you know an obvious for wrestling figures especially because obviously wwe's done two packs forever um but that could, that's uh, i think penelope ford's a good figure that you could throw in like a kip saban do a two pack and they, it would sell better as a two pack opposed to maybe singles I don't know. I, I think they should do that eventually. I think they will, especially when they start expanding, you know, and hitting Walmart and Target opposed to just Walmart, um, which I'm pretty sure some people's targets have already started uh, getting some of AEW figures in. Obviously, overall, they're still impossible to find in stores, but yeah, hopefully in the near future, we can get a Penelope Ford. Hopefully, like I said, I would love for them to do some two packs. Because obviously, AEW's tag team division is so extensive, so the amount of two packs they can do in there um, would, be, would be awesome. Yeah, Cody and Brandy Rhodes. Um, which is another excuse for them to put out a Cody and a Brandy in a wrestling gear. Um, not that this, not, not that the one in Series 1 isn't a wrestling attire for Brandy Rhodes, but it's just that outfit she wore um, during Cody's entrance at Double or Nothing 2019. So it's like, you know, for the, for the real piggy collectors, when you want, you know, uh, a representation of, you know, everybody in their wrestling gear or every, everybody in their finest, you know, finest hour, if you will, you kind of want a little bit of everything, I guess, um, except for the Chase figures. Uh, when it comes to, yeah, the Chase figures are ridiculous. I don't know if I'll ever own any of those. Um, the only way I ever plan on uh, getting any of those Chase figures are, A, if Ringside randomly slips one into my package, since I do that from time to time when you buy a case, we'll see if that ever happens. And two, if uh, if I find a $1,000 sitting on the ground somewhere, maybe I'll pay somebody 200 for one. I don't know, probably not. But yeah, I'll probably, uh, those, those will probably be the figures from the AEW set that always elude me, are the Chase and Rare figures. But I'll, I'll always make sure my normal series are complete and my ringside exclusives are complete. Because that I have all that stuff so far. The only stuff that I don't have is the Chase figures, the Rare figures, and the UK exclusive Cody. Which I'm going to try to get because I figure I feel like that might be not too difficult to get. Um, maybe somebody's selling it loose on like eBay, we'll see. But uh, yeah, we'll see what uh, what happens with that. I still have yet to see AW figures in the store. I've seen the rings and belts. But yeah, rings and belts have been sitting there for months, 
but who's buying the ring? If, who wants the rings if you don't buy the figures? Shout out to Fig Heel on YouTube. He says it in his hunts all the time. It's like, nobody's going to buy these wrestling rings if you don't have figures to go with it. Same thing with WWE figures. There's always, you know, a SummerSlam ring sitting at Walmart, but sometimes there's no figures. Who wants the rings when you can't have the figures? I remember when they made the silicone-like WWE figs, bendables and stuff out of rock one. They just slip a face. Yeah, sometimes, it, like, I've noticed if... I'm, I've never obviously got one. Um, but sometimes I'll see, you know, people, if you order the whole set um, on ringside, like, say, AEW Series uh, 3, if you bought that whole set on ringside, uh, you might have the chance of just pulling out, I think it was uh, Darby Allen and Riho had the chase and rare figures from this set, so... They might just slip one in, you know, instead. So instead of getting your normal Darby Allen, you'll get the Chase or Rare, whatever whatever one it is from the set. You'll get the Chase 1 of 1,000 Darby Allen. I haven't seen it a lot, but I've seen them do it. For Series 1, they just randomly put up Jericho and Cody for sale. Uh, they put up Cody for like $100 and Jericho for like 200 or vice versa. Whichever one is the 1 of 1,000 they put up for $100, sold out obviously real quick. Same thing with the other one. Whichever one was the one of uh, 500, they put up for 200, sold out real quick. Um, but then I think after that, they were kind of feeling out what people wanted. Do you want them for sale or do you want them... Like, obviously, they don't get all of them, but just, like, the ones that Ringside gets. Um, do you want them to put them up for sale or do you want them to just slip them in your orders? And I guess people said, just slip them in, slip them in our orders, you know, if, if we can, you know, as a surprise. So, I haven't seen it a lot, but I have seen some people do it. So, uh, or have some people get them, you know, instead of getting the normal MJF, from Series 2, they got the, whichever one it is, like I said, Chase or Rare MJF. And you'll just pull it. So, obviously, you know, no one's going to be complaining if they randomly pull that. And they'll ship it in a nice protector, so you get a nice, um, not that, like, a, and they don't get, you know, all 500, let's say, of the MJF or 1,000, whatever one it is. Um, but let's say that if they get 100 of them, they'll just start slipping them into orders. At least that's what I've noticed from so far. I don't know if they'll go back and start putting them for sale. I don't know, but the market has been, like, a little bit crazy on those Chase and Rare figures. I don't see it going down. So I don't know if I'll ever buy them. Um, but the uh, other thing that uh, leaked this week for uh, Cody figures or AEW figures is another Cody Rhodes. Um, this one I uh, will put on Twitter as well. This is a new champion Cody. People are, are rumoring that it's going to be a ringside exclusive. That's not confirmed. But hell, I hope it is because I really hope AEW, AEW doesn't start doing store exclusives just yet mostly because it's already impossible to find the normal stuff in stores you know they're not at the point where like wwe can do a walmart and target exclusive and even though those can be hard to find sometimes a lot of times you know more more people can find them than not you know it's not like these AEW figures where again stores are getting two cases worth and they go before sometimes they even hit the racks people go they pull they open up the boxes themselves take them they're gone they're gone so um, i'm hoping this cody figure Ends up being a uh, ringside exclusive, um, which, like I said, that's the rumor. Hasn't been confirmed, but, uh, you know, we'll see what happens. But, yeah, it's a Champions Cody. Um, real nice big box, it looks like. Um, Cody is in his Double or Nothing 2020 gear, um, like from this, obviously, past year with the silver and purple gear. And he has the TNT AEW Championship, the red belt that they uh, now retired um, because of Brody Lee. He's rocking that in this figure, and Cody's got a new head scan. I'm pretty sure there's other pictures out there. I don't have them with me, but they leaked, um, I believe it was the Gun Show Toys, or I forget the exact Instagram account. Um, I'll try to remember it and put it on Twitter. But uh, it's like Gun Show Toys or something like that on Instagram, put out the leak. And um, I believe this Cody comes with maybe another head, uh, maybe maybe two, but I know there's at least one uh, swappable head. Pretty sure there's a t-shirt as well. Maybe a different set of hands or something like that. So this Cody's going to have some features. Uh, the background of this box is literally the double or nothing entrance way, which is sick. Um, so yeah, I don't know. You know, they haven't, they, AEW hasn't put this out on their own yet. Um, we're still waiting on pictures from, you know, Unrivaled Series 4. But, uh, you know, I'm hoping AEW announces this soon. Uh, and hopefully it's a ringside exclusive. It's a really cool setup. And I would love for them to do more of these champion. I don't know what they're going to end up calling them. I'm just assuming. Um, you know, these champion figures, we had, like I said, this box says champion Cody on it, maybe because it's the first time, you know, he's the first ever TNT champion. I would love for them to do more of these, um, with, you know, some past champions over the last two years as well. We haven't gotten a set of AEW World Tag Team Championships yet, obviously toy-wise, so I would love for those to come out. Maybe they can do a champion, you know, ringside exclusive, uh, two-pack of SCU with the tag team titles, so SCU can get their first figures, as well as we get the first AEW belts. I think that would be a great idea. I can't imagine they only do one of these, like, champion exclusive setups. 
Um, especially if people love them, I assume they would do more. So hopefully we'll get more in the future. Like I said, uh, once I get off this live, I'm going to go on Twitter and tweet out everything on a thread in order that I'm talking about so you guys can see all the pictures that uh, you know, I'm discussing and whatnot. Um, and some of them are out there, and I actually tweeted a few of these AW leaks the other day, but I'll just re-put it up a Tuesday Night Toys uh, thread, if you will, um, so everybody can see. But yeah, I'm really hoping that Cody gets announced soon. Hope it's a ringside exclusive. That remains to be seen. Um, at Walmart, never got the figures, but got the belts. One day I found the AEW figure price tags gone, and the belts were in clearance for $5 a piece. I haven't seen them in clearance yet. Uh, that's pretty crazy. Um, I, I, I haven't seen the belts in a couple of weeks. Uh, just, just about 10 rings are sitting and collecting dust in my Walmart right now. Seen the tags, you know, I've seen the tags at uh, Target too. I've seen the UFC figure tags at Target and Walmart. Um, but... Stores are empty right now, man. These last, even before the pandemic, you know, things were uh, pretty empty in stores for the most part. Um, but it's even worse right now, man. Every every surrounding Walmart and Target I can think of either has no wrestling figures or they have, you know, Targets are sitting on on cases of Bobby the Brain, Heenan, Legends, Elites just collecting dust, unfortunately. Um, or at least around here. So, you know, hopefully... Uh, the, you know, the toy section gets, uh, and the wrestling figure section gets restocked soon, just in general. Obviously, I hope AEW figures overall become easier to find in stores, because even though, I, you know, I've used ringside as my, as my best friend, that's how I've been able to get all the AEW figures. I used to be a guy who would wait and just find everything in stores, um, thanks to last year, and, you know, obviously the pandemic and not going out as much, and then stuff becoming harder to find in stores, I just went to ringside for everything, um, now I'm just sort of kind of liking that better because the to toys sections are still, you know, empty and wrestling figures are even harder to find. Um, I still haven't found those Target exclusive WWE Royal Rumble Elites in stores and those have been out for a month at least. So, you know, and unfortunately I can't order those on ringside. If I don't find those, I'm going to have to hit a eBay, Macari, something like that. But we'll see. Um, we got Gemini in here, YouTube legend. Uh, I wonder if AEW will ever come out with replica belts. I feel like they have to eventually... Oh, wait a minute. Wrestling figure news source. New AW UFC images will be released tomorrow. Look at that. Live on the pod... I want to say the podcast. On the live stream. I just got the Twitter notification from Wrestling uh, Figure News Source. Go check them out on Twitter. They just said that new AW and UFC action figure pictures are coming out tomorrow. So that is freaking awesome. I'll definitely be making a YouTube video on all those. Um, perfect timing. We're doing the live stream. I just talked about like 20 minutes ago how... They said soon, and we weren't getting anything, and now we're getting pictures tomorrow. Ain't that just great? Um, you remember the Bendem figures? Bendem figures were before my time, but uh, just because I've been such a wrestling figure, you know, fan uh, my whole life, and especially going back and finding old stuff over the past few years, definitely uh, pretty informed on the uh, Bendem figures. Uh, Bendem figures came during the re-administration. Oh, man. All right, I need a drink of water. We've been talking for 30 minutes straight. Whopper snappers, but you guys are cool. <laughs> All right. So I think that's it for the AEW figures. Like I said, I guess we're getting news or getting images on new AEW and UFC figures um, tomorrow, which is sick. I, I don't have any news for UFC figures, even though I do collect the UFC line. There's only one set of them so far. I'm pretty sure you can still buy the whole set on ringside. Um, but I know there is... They originally said the next series would be coming, I think, in the springtime. There's going to be a Connor. Uh, another Conor McGregor, I believe, an Amanda Nunes, and I believe uh, Israel Adesanya. And I don't know if I don't know if they said anybody else, but I'm pretty sure that's who they said at least for series two so far. So guess we're gonna be seeing those tomorrow. Like I said, definitely making YouTube videos on those. Anyways, I want to jump over to uh, AEW's uh, current partner, if you will, um, the show that runs also on Tuesday nights, Impact Wrestling. Um, I've been wanting Impact figures for a while now. I'm not going to get into wrestling talk, like, storyline-wise. Um, but Impact Wrestling, even before they started pairing with AEW, I'll be honest, I'm giving them their credit. They've been on the rise for the last two, three years. Since 2018, they've been going up and up, in my opinion. Um, solid roster of just good wrestlers, either a good mix of indie guys, like, overall the past few years, not just right now. Good mix of indie guys, you know, past WWE guys who are, can still go. Whatever the case is, Impact's been on the rise for the last few years. So I've been wanting action figures for a while. They got Brian, My Brian Myers and Matt Cardona there now. So hopefully they'll help them get an action figure deal eventually. I think that'd be awesome. 
But uh, for now, we have Micro Brawlers, the uh, Pro Wrestling Tees uh, version of action figures, if you will. I'm sure people are familiar with the Micro Brawlers overall. Um, not, you know, the most detailed figure. They're about probably this big, I'd say. And kind of just a little statue, cartoon-looking way of, of figures. You know, there's been plenty of legends and, you know, guys who have had Micro Brawlers made by Pro Wrestling Tees in the past. They're cool. Don't get me wrong. Um, like I said, they're not the most detailed. They're not posable. They're small. They're kind of cartoon looking uh, it's, you know, like little figures of wrestlers. And they're cool for what they are. Um, but Impact, like I said, put out a uh, a Series 1 of, uh, of Micro Brawlers, which I was pretty excited for because I was like, like I said, I want Impact Wrestling figures. But realistically, I don't know when, the last, when, the, when we're going to get Impact Wrestling figures you know, and what brand they would sign to. Mattel's taken. Jazzwares is taken. They could do Super 7, but Super 7 goes all out for their figures. They're not doing $20 action figures. They're doing, you know, $40 action figures. So I don't really see them pairing with Impact. Um, but yeah, they put out their first set of Micro Brawlers. The first set of them um, included Jordan Grace, Moose, Eddie Edwards, Doc Gallows. And they did a Legend, which I thought was cool. They did the good old Monster Abyss. And uh, like I said, they were sweet. I was interested in buying them because, you know, the one impact figures of wanting to collect them. Um, they were released last Monday, not this past Monday, but like, you know, the week before. And I was, I was ready, man. It was 10 a.m. on Monday, went on shop impact, was ready to buy them. And then I saw their price. Then I saw their price, $22 for these motherfuckers, $22 for the micro brawlers. Listen, I don't know. This is, this is going to be my first time buying micro brawler. So anybody in the chat, if you bought micro brawlers brand new from pro wrestling teams before, let me know what they're going for. But this was like the first time I was informed on the price of these things. And I was like, yo, I got to be honest. $10, definitely. $15, I would have did it. $22 for just the normal micro brawlers. Then there were signed versions for like $39. I think they cost $12 in store. $12? I definitely would have did that. Im Impact me price gouging. I definitely would have did $12. $22 for these Impact micro brawlers. I was like, you know what, man? I wanted to support Impact here. I want to start collecting these. But I can't justify over $100 for micro brawlers. Action figures all day. $20 bill. Here you go. You know, if they were, you know, elite style, AEW style figures, take my money. But $20 for Jordan Grace this big, for Doc Gallows this big, you can't even pose them. Uh, I had to pass on that. I almost still pulled the trigger and got the Abyss. I was like, maybe I'll just collect the Legends. But then I was like... I don't even know how often these are going to come out. I don't know if they're always going to do Legends. And I would rather just have the whole set. But $22 for these fucking things? I had to pass, man. Um, like I said, I wanted to support them. I thought they were cool. Um, but not worth the $22 price tag. If they were, like I said, if these, if Impact had a deal with Super 7 and they were putting out $45 action figures, you know, like the Doc Gallows, the Carl Anderson, the Brian Myers, the Matt Cardona, they're all coming out for Super 7. All day. Take my money. I got all four of those on pre-order. But $22 for the Micro Brawlers, that was a big pass for me. Um, sorry, Impact, I wanted to support you, but not on the price tag. Couldn't do it. Um, Impact for price gouging. I never bought one. I uh, bought a Rick Rude at Target, though. Rick Rude, uh, that was a recent figure, I think, from one of the uh, the SummerSlam set, I think. You got, a knowledge, you got good knowledge on figures. Uh, you're hardcore. Much respect. Thank you very much. Very much appreciated. Uh, I bought the Punk one and bought Okada ones, and I found any Guerrero one for like $6, a half price book. Pretty, aren't the Okada ones new, or not new, um, isn't it, didn't New Japan ones, like a new set of them just come out like two, three weeks ago? I don't know, that just made me think of it. Um, do you take the figures out of the, of the package and play with them, or do you keep them in the box? Well, I keep very few in the box. I have some old figures, some old Elite, some old Jack specific figures. On the wall over there, I got a couple of Rey Mysterio uh, figures on card as well. Um, but for the majority, it's way less cleaner. It's way less, uh, more of a headache. Takes up way less space and looks a lot cleaner to just take them out. So I got two D tough cabinets here. They're filled with action figures: WWE, AEW, UFC. Um, I got some figures right here as well. But yeah, I'm more of a uh, taking them out, and uh, I don't play with them, but I will display them. Um, if this is about 10 years ago, every single one of these figures would have paint marks all over them because I would be playing with them. But, yeah, I take the majority of stuff out. I mean, you see, like, I got Star Wars stuff on card, but I literally only buy those Star Wars figures because of the vintage card. At least that's half the reason. But majority of wrestling figures, they get taken out. Something that tells me the new 
packaging has something to do with the price. Yeah, I saw the new packaging, but uh, I don't know. Like I said, $15, I would have been like, fair enough. $10, I would have been all over it. $12, all over it. $15, fair enough. $22, though, not my price tag. Not my price tag. <clears throat> all right. Let's go ahead here. We got WWE action figures to talk about. I just wanted to bring up the Impact Micro Brawlers. Listen, I hope they get some action figures eventually, but I had, had to pass in the Micro Brawlers. Um, but we did get new WWE stuff. Not really announced. We just kind of got some like new pictures of stuff and the next Legend series fully revealed. And I thought that we were honestly going to get like a good chunk of reveals this past weekend from WWE, and we really didn't get anything. The next Elite series ships next month and then we don't know what's coming after that and usually for WWE figures we know like three series ahead there's nothing right now and I'm, I'm not like saying that in like a worried way I'm just saying like odd um that we really didn't get more announcements because usually like I said we know the majority of stuff coming out and there is still like an idea of stuff like we know eventually we're going to be getting a Triple H Jeff Hardy Smackdown 01 Intercontinental title match Elite 2 pack, most likely going to be a ringside exclusive. Like, we know that's coming eventually, but we don't have any, like, final mock-up images. It's not up on ringside. Like, there's ideas of a couple of things that are floating out there that we know what's coming, but some stuff we don't even know. Like, what's the set? What series? Like, we don't know. We know Elite Series 84, um, which we already knew who was in the set, but we finally got full images uh, this past weekend. After that, though, nothing. So, and like I said, Elite Series 84, which, uh... I'm going to pull up on ringside right now. Consists of Jeff Hardy, uh, Angel Garza's first action figure, Sheamus. Uh, we have Murphy, Rhea Ripley. Is this Rhea Ripley? No, this is Rhea Ripley's first elite, but she's had a basic. Uh, a Roman Reigns and then a Chase Jeff Hardy. Um, like I said, th these figures ship late January to mid-February, actually. Um, and Actually, no, just late January because mid-February is just for uh, second pre-orders. So, like, late pre-orders of people who got them late. But, yeah, so... Very weird that we don't have uh, more news coming on the, uh, you know, WWE Elite Series-wise. But uh, like I said, we got Jeff Hardy. Uh, let me pull this out one more time. Angel Garza, a Chase Jeff Hardy, a new Sheamus, Buddy Murphy, who was a disappointing figure in my opinion. It's literally the same exact figure of his Elite last year. Same head, just new attire. His Seth Rollins Disciple attire. Uh, attire, excuse me. And they put a, and the body on him honestly doesn't match Buddy Murphy. I think Buddy Murphy looks more bulked than this. They should have gave him the Sheamus body with the, with the different skin tone. That's just me. Um, the basic Rhea looks so weird. Saw it in store the other day. Yeah, so many basics are just not it, man. Like, I, I've been buying a couple basics here, but you'll see what they are. Like, throwback Edge, throwback Jeff Hardy. And these are and half the reason I buy these, these some of these basics, are because these are the only way I'm going to get some of these attires. So it's like, why not? But the basics I normally pass on just because they become even less articulated over the years. Like, you can't even move, like, this edge is, like, there's no no shoulder bend right here anymore. And there's no foot bend anymore. It's just, they're so stiff. Like, eventually these are just going to be statues that you can't even move. But, yeah, I've been buying a couple of them. But basics, for the most part, are just so pretty trash, honestly. Pretty disappointing. Have you seen the feed basic? I feel like they took the Elite and threw it in the basic packaging. Basically, basically. And uh, because of the jacket he's wearing, it looks like it's probably a very stiff figure as well. Like any kid trying to play with that, good luck. Uh, honestly, it's just, I'm like, it looks, it like somewhat looks cool because like it's the Fiend, but it just looks so stiff and just like looks like it's not going to be a good time for uh, anybody trying to pose that thing. Buddy Murphy beat Rey Mysterio's kid with a stick. <laughs> um... But yeah, anyway, we got Master of the Universe Series 6 uh, for the WWE figures revealed. I don't collect these figures, um, but we got Goldberg, Kane, Stephanie McMahon, and Ultimate Warrior coming out in that set. Like I said, I don't collect these figures. Um, I have the Rey Mysterio one just because that's Rey Mysterio, but no interest for me. Won't be getting those. There's new Reckon figures coming out, which if anybody doesn't know who the what the Reckon figures are, for the most part, they basically are like the Flex Force figures from when Mattel first took over WWE basically just for kids not for the collector at all who cares um there's new showcase showdown series three figures coming out which i'll go up and pull these pictures up for myself so i can talk about them right now we already knew who was going to be in the set um we just have pictures of them now of course the two packs are basic figures i wish they were elites but it is what it is um so speaking of the fiend we have the fiend and daniel bryan coming in uh showdown 
two packs, um, Series 3, um, based, I guess, off probably the Rumble last year, just their feud from last year. Um, we have the Giant and Ric Flair, based off of, uh, Gemini will probably know the exact date, but based off a Nitro episode from, like, 96, 97, I believe. Flair's wearing green trunks, yellow boots, and then you got the Giant in there. Uh, looks pretty cool. I'll probably pick up that two-pack. And you also have a Kane and Edge two-pack coming out, um, which is based off their, uh, their 2010 uh, feud. Probably the Survivor Series match um, from 2010, but just that feud overall. So we got those coming out for the uh, the showdown figures. Not the most exciting thing in the world, but still, we got the, uh, I guess, update on those. And then the only thing other thing we got from WWE was, uh, I think some of these figures were already floating around out there. But uh, Legends Series 10, Legends Elite Series 10, uh, officially confirmed was a new Big Van Vader. Bruce the Barber Beefcake, who has a Chase figure as well. And then there's a Diamond Dallas Page from his WWE run, so like O2, DDP with short hair and baggy pants and stuff like that. And then there's a WrestleMania 36 John Cena from his match with Bray Wyatt last year. And the whole Firefly Funhouse gimmick. Um, John Cena's rocking his, uh, his rookie attire, so that orange and blue gear when they were doing their... When they were like jumping portals or whatever the fuck in that match. Um, this figure is actually pretty cool because he comes with a current John Cena head so you can base it off Mania 36 from last year. And it also comes with a throwback head so you can basically just have an O2 uh, rookie Cena. Kind of pick which one you want. Yeah, the Cena does come with the Vince McMahon puppet from the Firefly Funhouse match last year. So that's actually a really cool figure. Um, honestly, all of these figures from the Legends set are pretty cool. Um, the DDP I'm going to get just because it's an O2 DDP. Um, Beefcake before my time, so I'm passing on him. Uh, the Vader's cool. I've watched a lot, honestly, a lot of Vader, WCW-wise. Uh, not recently, but just, like, the past few months. Uh, but not enough for me to, to sell me on buying the figure. But definitely a cool set overall. <clears throat> so, yeah, that's Legend Series 10. And that, then that's all we got from, um, from Mattel when it came to reveals. Like I said, it was... I, I said it in my video the other day that it was supposed to be Toy Fair weekend, which wasn't necessarily true. I just meant these were the reveals that were probably going to happen at Toy Fair this year, but obviously there is no Toy Fair. Um, but, like, Funko did their own thing. or did Funko Fair, which I'm going to talk about. AEW semi-revealed stuff this week. WWE revealed stuff. So it kind of felt like this would be the stuff for all those brands that would have got reve revealed at Toy Fair. But I don't know. I just I was, I was a little disappointed. I wanted WWE to send more. But it is what it is. Um, anyway, um, I wonder if AEW do wrestling buddies. I think that'd be awesome, man. It's, I think that's definitely a possibility too, because I don't, not, not like wrestling buddies, but like, uh, Jazzware is the same company that does the AEW figures, also does UFC figures. And if you go on ringside collectibles, there's actually a, uh, Conor McGregor, like plush, which I'm going to pull up right here. Uh, toy plush. It's, uh, how big is this thing? It's, uh, 18 inches. Uh, tall, so it's a it's a pretty decent sized plus, and I'm pretty sure it talks and stuff like that. I don't know if it says a uh, fuck, but uh, yeah. So that's actually a uh, funny you bring that up because that's a good chance that could happen. Because like I said, same company makes the UFC figures. It's a toy plush, um, and it's a Conor McGregor, and it, it, you know they're only charging ten bucks on on ringside right now. Uh, maybe I should get that for my UFC collection, but I would love for them to do AEW ones eventually. Because that's this is one of those fun lines, <laughs> fuck. Uh, this is one of those fun lines, they don't gotta go deep and making the roster, work. like, they don't gotta make everybody on the fucking roster for, like, plush and stuff like that. Just make the top guys, just make them cool, make them fun. Um, that's actually a good idea, I think they sh should do that eventually. <clears throat> Give me an Ultimate Edition NWO Cena. I would love that, I think that'd be awesome. I'm surprised they didn't do an Elite, at least, by now. Um, I was hoping for some Ultimate Edition reveals, uh, this past weekend. I really want them to do a Rey Mysterio one. I really want... Ray's uh, Joker attire from Survivor Series 2019 made into a figure, which they haven't done yet. I feel like they held off on Rey Mysterio figures a little bit last year because they weren't sure if he was going to re-sign with the company. And then he re-signed, so I'm hoping now they start putting some more Ray figures out. Because when he first came back, they were putting Ray figures out like hotcakes. I'm like, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight figures, I think eight maybe nine figures from when he came back in 2018 up until like end of last end of like 2019 um so we got a lot of figures um or beginning of last year um but I, like i said i think they kind of held off this is just me purely speculating on making ray figures last year because like i said i don't th i think there was a question whether he was going to resign with wwe or not obviously he did um so i'm hoping they make some more ray figures eventually i would love a him and him and dominic two pack i think that'd be awesome um but i'm hoping we get some more ray uh figures eventually 
I'm talking for 49 minutes. My voice is going to be scratchy after this. Um, and I'm supposed to, and I told myself I was going to record a podcast tomorrow morning, but my throat might be a little scratchy for that. Did they recently release o- or an 03 and 04 figs, or I was just saying thing? No, that is coming out. They are releasing a Backlash 04 Blue Tights Intercontinental title, Randy Orton. Um, they did, it's not out yet. I believe it's coming out sometime this year. A part of a, uh, I th- think it's a fan takeover elite series that they're starting to do. Was supposed to be a Walmart exclusive. Now it looks like it's going to be an a, a Amazon exclusive. Um, see, it didn't come out in Series 1. Series 1 just went up for pre-order, though, a couple of days ago. But that Orton, I believe, comes in Series 2, which I'm really looking forward to. Because I have a throwback Orton up on that top shelf. Um, it's a 2005 WrestleMania 21 Orton. But I've really been wanting a light blue... Um, or just like that Evolution era where he's wearing light blue and red and stuff like that. Weren't for a while. Now they're finally uh, putting that out. So no, you were not seeing things. It is coming out um, sometime this year. Pro- probably. I don't know how. I don't know how fast they're going to be putting out these elite takeover fan takeover lines. Um, like they're only doing like. Uh, there, there's an elite series every month, but it, they haven't they haven't said like how many fan takeover lines are going to come out within the year. But hopefully it comes out uh, before. Hopefully there's more than two sets a year is what I'm trying to say. So hopefully it don't make its way to like third or fourth third or fourth quarter from 2021. Waiting for that Sting AEW figure. I think a lot of people are. Uh, funny, uh, Sting was supposed to have a Legends series figure come out in series six or seven. Whatever the return Legends Elite series was last year. Uh, but they cut the figure because he left the company. Uh, there's pictures out there of it. It was revealed at last year's Toy Fair. Um, it was a, it was a, a like original crow sting, like just the lines going, just the black lines going down the white face. Um, WCW sting. Um, but yeah, they fucking pulled the plug on it because uh, he left the company. So I think a lot of people are going to be waiting on a new sting figure, uh, especially because you know they pulled the plug on that one. Um, I don't know if they'd be able to do throwback ones. Probably not since they don't own any of those looks. But maybe I don't know. But obviously there's so many figures for AEW to make right now that they're probably just going to run through their core roster first and then start making like throwback figures. I don't know, we'll see. Need some water and then we're going to get into the Funko. <clears throat> Voices, scratchy. <clears throat> anyway, like I briefly brought up... Uh, Toy Fair, Funko did their own thing this year. Now having Funko Fair still going on, uh, they're doing like some reveals every day for the next, for the probably I think it ends this week. Um, but, like they're categorizing the days. Like today's was they were revealing new movie pops. Yesterday was or today was TV. Yesterday was like movies. Uh, so Funko's been doing their own thing since there is no Toy Fair this year. And Toy Fair is usually where they announce like the first half of the year for what they're coming like they literally announced like the first six months of uh of Funko Pops pretty much for that year or like approximately like most of their first half of the year is usually what they announced on Toy Fair so since they didn't do Toy Fair this year they're doing their own thing um and all the stuff that I care about already got revealed so they they got like three four more days of Funko Fair um which is just reveals like every once every hour on their social media accounts um, but, uh, yeah, we got some reveals, which we're going to talk about. Uh, my Funko prayers have been answered. Creed from the Office Pops and Yellow Lightsaber right in the same week. Uh, yeah, didn't the Office Pops get announced today because, uh, of the TV stuff? The TV was today, right? I'm not, I'm, or was it yesterday? I know movies and TV were, like, back-to-back. Pretty sure TV was today, movies were yesterday. I don't know. Um, but, yeah, we have lightsaber, we have Ray Light, uh, <sighs> Yellow Lightsaber Ray finally coming. Which we're going to talk about. I'm going to run through the WWE stuff first. We get all the wrestling stuff out the way. Then I'm going to jump to some Star Wars as well as miscellaneous. Um, but yeah, the WWE Funko Pops um, that got revealed this week. Probably, like I was said in my video a couple days ago. Probably the best Funko Pops WWE wise like ever overall. Like in one reveal. Um, uh, and just specifically like some of the best WWE Pops ever revealed. Sometimes WWE Pops kind of suffer from lack of detail because they're humans. Uh, one of the Funko's best features is they, they can crush it on non-human characters. Like, I'm looking up at my Star Wars collection. The Gamorrean fighter from Episode 1 of Season 2 of The Mandalorian is a really cool pop because he's not a human and he has a lot of detail. Sometimes human pops kind of suffer because there's only so much detail they can do. 
I've said this in multiple videos in the past, but the biggest example of this is WWE, or Funko put out a WWE two pack of WCW Beach Blonde, uh, Beach Blonde Hair, uh, Sting, and Lex Luger. And the Lex Luger pop was so plain and just, it did, if you looked at it, you wouldn't know it's Lex Luger. Like, unless it's, unless you saw the name on the packaging, if you saw it loose, it's like, who the hell is that? It just looks like a created wrestler. It, it looked, it looked horrible. And not necessarily to Funko's fault, because what pops are, they're, you know, uh, what, what stylized figures, you know, cartoony, less detailed, but still can be pretty detailed figures. But that Lex Luger is like one of the most horrible pops ever made. Yes, you could still find Steve and Lex Luger figures on clearance in FYE. They still collect dust um, a lot. And the, you know, that's one of the pops that I almost bought a few times because it was on clearance. And I was like, I don't even want to spend the clearance money. This thing's cool. This thing's pretty cool. It's, it's fine. But the Lex Luger pop, big pass, big pass. But anyway, the uh, WWE pops we have coming in the common set uh, coming out soon. Um, so there's a new set of five, and then there's a couple exclusives and stuff like that that we'll talk about after. But the common set goes like this. We have Edge coming out, his first Funko Pop. Very excited. That's one that I've wanted for a while. He's going to be rocking his Royal Rumble 2020 attire. Um, so that's going to be a cool one. Um, we have a Stone Cold coming out. He's wearing jeans, and a uh, and he's got a vest on. He's holding the Smoking Skulls title. That's going to be a good one. Uh, Drew McIntyre, he's sporting his uh, entrance jacket or whatever. Um, not his, you know, kilt and sword that he wears now. Uh, but yeah, he's rocking that, that coat, um, which looks cool. They also are putting out an Otis Funko Pop, which I'm going to be passing on this one. Um, not much of a, not much of a big Otis guy. Um, but the pop's fine. Uh, the biggest detail of it is that he's holding the Money in the Bank briefcase, which I think is a cool detail. Uh, the fact that Otis was the Mr. Money in the Bank at one point in time is, uh, is ridiculous, but we're not going to get into that. Um, but yeah, he's getting a pop, and then the last one in the common set is China, which I'm not sure what the attire is specifically based off of. Uh, just might be an overall China, but still a cool pop to add to your uh, your past woman. I feel like the only top, like real top legends women's that they haven't done the Funko line yet are probably Lita, and then have they done a Stephanie? I don't think they've done. No, they haven't done a Stephanie McMahon. We've gotten Trish though. We've gotten you know all the the four horse women asuka and stuff like that so lita uh china was on the list uh stephanie mcmahon you know those are probably the top ones that people are waiting for so we're getting a china that's cool i'm definitely gonna be getting the edge stone cold and uh maybe the mcintyre from this set not sure i'm definitely gonna get the edge in austin mcintyre will be one that i decide on if i find it in stores um so yeah pretty good overall common set coming out um, and then we got some exclusive stuff coming out, which I'm pretty psyched about. Well, this first thing's not necessarily exclusive. It's just different than the rest of them, but I don't think it's exclusive to any store. And they are putting out the Monday Night Raw Ruthless Aggression Era Ring. Funko is making a Monday Night Raw ring. And it is going to come with The Rock and Stone Cold in attires that represent the build to WrestleMania 19. The Ruthless Aggression Kid in me. Super excited. It is the Ruthless Aggression 2003 Raw Ring. It's got the Raw logo on two sides of the ring. It's got Rock rocking the, the, the vest, belt buckle, glasses. He's bald because he came back in 03 bald. Austin, I forget what he's rocking. I don't have the picture in front of me. But it is Austin and the Rock, and they come in the ring. And the best part is I don't think they're stuck to the ring. I think you can take them out. So you can technically put anybody in the ring you want for your display purposes, which is sick. Um, but yeah, I am super hyped on this. this. is one of the best things Funko's done. I've really been wanting them, Funko, to make uh, pop rides since they do that. For, I would have, I've been wanting them to make uh, WWE ones like Undertaker on a motor, motorcycle, uh, Eddie Guerrero in a low rider, which we're getting an Eddie Guerrero, which I'm talk about, I will talk about. Uh, but this is definitely a step in the right direction because WWE Funko Pops, a lot of times, uh, really don't, especially new ones. Old ones go for a lot of money, but new ones... Uh, they, they'll, once they, after they come out and they're sitting for a few months, you know, they ain't worth shit a lot of the times, you know, you'll find the Batista Funko Pop worth like $7, you'll see it sitting at Target, you'll see a Big E from three years ago sitting at Walmart, like, WWE Funko Pops, uh, I think for wrestling fans, they're, they're cool, but then again, like, they're competing with wrestling figures, which are the main thing for wrestling collectors, and then a lot of Funko fans who may collect a little bit of everything don't really know what WWE is, so they don't buy them. Um, so WWE kind of takes a hit in the Funko realm, but this is definitely a step in the right direction to, you know, 
boost the Funko game for WWE, and that's making that ring. I'm Like I said, I'm hoping we get some pop rides eventually. More rings would be sick. If we get a SmackDown, Ruthless Aggression Era Funko ring, you guys are going to see my mind explode. Um, but yeah, we got an Austin and Rock 2003 versions of them building up to WrestleMania 19. Uh, that's actually absolutely going to be sick. Um, Funko ring hype. Yeah, the, the ring is fucking awesome. It does look sweet. It's, I got a Marty McFly and Doc Brown Funko. It's Funko Bobby Old Fart. Great, great, great chat going on right now. Um, but yeah, on top of that, we got a, a new GameStop exclusive coming out for WWE. Um, and this one is one that I've wanted for a while. One of my favorite wrestlers of all time. Eddie Guerrero and more Ruthless Aggression based figures, which it's my time. I can't help it. Ruthless Aggression Kid. We have an Eddie Guerrero based off WrestleMania 20 coming out exclusive to GameStop. And the coolest part is it's going to be a pop and pin set. So you're going to get a little WrestleMania 20 logo, a uh, little enamel pin that's going to be in the box, which is cool. My only knock on this Eddie Guerrero is that since it's based off WrestleMania 20, I would have loved, absolutely loved that they added the Undisputed title to this pop, which I know they can do because every Austin pop that got, you know, or two out of the three Austin pops that got revealed all have titles. One of them, he's holding two titles. Some Flair pops have titles now. Um, so I would have loved if they added the Undisputed title to this Eddie Guerrero figure, but it is what it is. Um, I'm still going to get, I actually pre out of all the um, pops that got revealed, this is the only one that I pre-ordered because everything else um, for the most part, it's commons. I'll be able to find them in stores. Um, but yeah, I, I pre-ordered that Eddie Guerrero on GameStop. It didn't like sell out or anything. So anybody interested, I'm pretty sure you could still go on GameStop. I just did it last night. And uh, you can pre-order the Eddie Guerrero coming out. Very cool. Like I said, Ruthless Aggression, WrestleMania 20 based. Uh, fucking awesome. And then uh, on top of that, there is also a 7-Eleven exclusive, which I don't think there has been a 7-Eleven exclusive pop in general in a while. And this is... I'm pretty sure the first 7-Eleven exclusive WWE pop since the now very rare Rey Mysterio, very expensive Rey Mysterio. Um, this one is going to be another Stone Cold. He got three pops uh, revealed uh, coming out the other day. Uh, this one is going to be, he's going to be rocking the Austin 316 uh, t-shirt, shorts, and he's going to be holding uh, what looks to be in the picture the Smoking Skulls title as well as the old school WWF tag team title, which my favorite tag team, uh, tag team title design of all time, so... Very, very cool. Pops and Slurpees. 7-Eleven doing it right. You can not... Two, two, killing two birds with one stone. I love it. Um, but yeah, I was very surprised. Um, we've got Walmart exclusive, GameStop, Target, FYE, but we haven't gotten a 7-Eleven one in a long time. So, And out of all the Austin Pops revealed, um, this is probably my favorite one. So definitely looking forward to this one. It's going to be... I don't want to say it's going to be hard to find because I really don't know. I've never went hunting at 7-Eleven. So like literally, they were, they were doing a lot of 7-Eleven exclusives. Not a lot, but... When Funko was really starting to like get the ball rolling on Pops in 2012, 2013, 2014, there was a lot more 7-Eleven exclusives then. There hasn't been any in, in a while. So like I said, I'm pretty sure it's the first 7-Eleven exclusive in general in a while. And then the first one for WWE since I believe that Rey Mysterio, like, which like I said is now out of the three Rey Pops, I think is the second one that is most worth the most. I got the common one, which is worth the least. Then I believe it goes to 7-Eleven. Then I believe it goes to the San Diego Comic-Con. 2014 one or uh whatever whatever year it is i'm pretty sure it's 2014 <clears throat> what we got going on here i got the super smash on nintendo for my kids at gamestop any retro angle figures coming out uh i don't believe so i think the last angle figure that came out not the last one but the most recent one was uh Damn, it's been a while. I mean, I got this basic one right here, which is uh, SummerSlam 02 attire, which I had to get that. Um, and then I got a Team Angle one right there. You can barely see him. And then after that, I think, honestly, he didn't get a lot of figures in the last few years. Like, when he came back to WWE, he only got, I think, three or four figures. He got those two. He got uh, an Entrance Great Elite, which when they were doing those, which was like an 01, or like, like a 2000, 2001 Kurt Angle um, and then they did like a, I forget if it was Survivor Series or like 2017 or, or yeah, they did the Melkomania one. So maybe five figures. And then they did, or I forget if it was Survivor Series 2018 or WrestleMania 34 based um, angle attire. So like a current one, but they didn't do a lot of angle figures, honestly. A little disappointing. I would have liked a few more errors. Um, I know that he's, I don't know, I guess he's technically back in WWE now. 
I don't I don't know. <laughs> uh, he got released, and then they brought him back for NXT last year. So is he uh, an angle in the sheer gear? All right, you know what? There there's some more angles that I, I'm forgetting about. Um, but I definitely would have liked like an 06 angle and stuff like that, or like a two, just some more throwback angles, honestly. Um, but no, I don't think there's any new ones or like any retro ones new that are coming out. Um, but I don't, mostly because I guess I, I, I personally don't even know Kurt Angle's status with the company. Somebody can let me know there. I guess he's technically part of the company in a way. I don't know. That'll pretty much determine if he gets any figures. Kind of like I was talking about earlier where I feel like they halted Rey Mysterio figures because they weren't sure if he was going to resign. Then he resigned, so I'm sure hopefully we'll get some Rey figures in the future. They cut the Sting figure because he was going with the company. So they when he got released last year, there could have been angle figures on the table that got cut. We don't know. But if he's back with the company, sort of, then he'll probably get some figures eventually. Um, I'm hoping they do because the more ruthless aggression, attitude error whatever figures we can get throwback figures i'm all about so we'll see um slurpees are so good i like the red over the blue you gotta go cherry excuse me cherry and coke mix for the for the for the slurpees um milkomania angle in the sheer gear i was at the angle milk roll in 2000 damn that's a good one whatever happened to figs coming with weapons that that is a lost uh thing jacks used to do it all the time they would throw random shit in like here's Rey mysterio and he's got a lead pipe here's the undertaker and he's got a barbed wire bat like they used to just throw weapons in there with whoever didn't have to make sense they didn't care mattel throws accessories in nowadays but like more the more accessories mattel throws in are like alternate heads t-shirts for the guys like so you can pose them differently but yeah they really don't do a lot of like weapons with the figures anymore you can buy them like ringside puts out their own weapons now um so you can buy in packs which i would have loved that when i was a kid um they got t t steel chairs you can buy uh for your figures tables ladders they got it all on there mattel figures will come with it sometimes like i'm trying to think of the most recent thing um that i might have got like the big show wrestlemania 24 uh figure i'm pointing to it right there he came with this steel chair which hilarious because it's just big show on the chair no mayweather um but like so they'll still come with stuff sometimes um i got a ray mysterio and randy orton two pack that i kept in the box just because i thought it looked cool um like a basic two pack that came with a steel chair um but yeah they'll still come with weapons sometimes but yeah they don't do it as much as they as like jacks used to and even mattel used to do it more than they do now they just kind of replaced it with like like i said excess like heads t-shirts hands more stuff for like you know for for so you could swap out what the figures are wearing and what they look like when you pose them uh the big show chair is hilarious i fucking know it's honestly real cool because you got the wrestlemania 24 set up up here and then big shows just down here but it's no mayweather it's absolutely hilarious um but it's still you know it's, it's still pretty cool um I, I at least like the effort it's just incomplete because mayweather's not on there but it is what it is is what it is and then the last, anyway, of the uh, WWE Funko Pops announced, we have, I, I don't know if anybody remembers, but last year during this time, there's a bunch of WrestleMania 3 uh, style Funko products hitting Walmart for WrestleMania season. It was only a Walmart exclusive stuff. There's a lunchbox, a Hogan Pop, an Andre Pop, pins, a t-shirt. We're going to be getting a new round of that stuff this year. Uh, so there's going to be a new round of pins, which is like the Rock uh, logo, Mankind logo, Austin logo, and then the Roddy Piper logo, which is kind of weird because all the stuff here is kind of based off Attitude Era, and then you got the Roddy Piper pin in there. Not sure why Funko threw that in there, but I mean, it's cool. I, I don't really need any more pins, so I won't be getting those, but you know, it's a, it's a Funko product, so I'm throwing it in here. Um, there's also a... so. So to give you a backstory, Funko started doing these uh, like cereal box style T-shirts where like they, they did a bunch for Star Wars. So like it'll be like fucking Ewok O's, and they'll they'll make something like that and they'll put it on a T-shirt. They're doing their first WWE one, and it's gonna be The Rock and Mankind. And it's gonna say uh, The Rock and Sockos, and it looks like a cereal box. And you'll literally buy it in a cereal box style box, but inside will be a T-shirt with the with the picture on it. Um, so that's coming to Walmart. You can expect that soon. <clears throat> You got a uh, Stone Cold and uh, The Rock WrestleMania 17 style lunchbox, which let me show you guys real quick. So this was the lunchbox that came out last year uh, for this during this time. It was a WrestleMania 3 based lunchbox. 
as you can see here, I'm not going to open it up because I literally, actually I'll, I'll open it up like this, but I got to be careful. So this is what I started doing for all my elite figure accessories, because I didn't have anywhere to put them. So this box, this lunch box, is filled with about a year and a half's worth of elite figure accessories, weapons, uh, a bunch of Triple H sledgehammers, Matt Hardy t-shirt, filled with elite figure accessories. So that is what I did with this lunchbox that came out last year. But there's a new version of this coming out. But it is a WrestleMania 17 Austin vs. Rock lunchbox. It's honestly really cool. I don't necessarily need a lunchbox to bring my lunch to work. However, this one is filled. So I need another lunchbox. So I'm going to be getting that Rock and Stone Cold WrestleMania 17 lunchbox to put new accessories in. March 29th, 1987 Magic. Um, so yeah, we got that coming out. Figure Nation, what's going on? Um, and then the last uh, stuff coming out WWE-wise is going to be a Mankind and Rock Funko Pop 2-pack um, based off their Royal Rumble 1999 uh, Last Man Standing match. Very excited for this. This is Mankind's first pop. Obviously, we've got a Mick Foley in the past. This is the first Mankind pop. And then another Rock pop, but it's a different attire. This is Rock's like fifth or sixth pop. And obviously, this is the second one he's got revealed uh, for Funko Fair. But it's a cool one. And like I said, it's a 2-pack. First Mankind, it's a different rock based off the 99 Rumble, and it's only at Walmart. And all this only at Walmart stuff was honestly pretty easy to find last year. Once it hit stores, it honestly didn't go anywhere for a while. Um, I think the Andre, the, like those 6-inch Andre the Giant Pops, were probably sitting for a few months. Honestly, they're gone now. They're not like one of those Pops that really sits for a while. But all that Funko WWE exclusive, exclusive stuff to Walmart did sit for... A little bit, so it shouldn't be too hard to find this stuff, honestly. Once it hits stores, I wouldn't be too worried about, like, gotta be the first one to get there type of thing. Like, I didn't pre-order any of this on Walmart.com, because I'm pretty sure pre-orders went up for pretty much everything um, that got revealed. But, uh, I could, just because I know it's not going to be too hard to find, the only stuff I want for the Walmart-wise, Walmart overall, I'll tell you everything I want. But, Walmart-wise, I just want the lunchbox and the two-pack. I know they won't be incredibly hard to find, so definitely not too worried about it. <clears throat> Overall, though, I pretty much want to grab the Mankind and Rock 2-pack, the Eddie uh, GameStop exclusive. I pre-ordered that. The Austin 7-Eleven figure. We'll see what happens with that. Definitely want to get the Rock and Austin in the ring, and definitely want to get the Edge and Austin from the common set. The McIntyre will be like a one that I make the call on when I find it in stores. I got to see it in person to see if I like it enough. Uh, and the China and the Otis I'm going to be passing on, but everything else for the most part Looking pretty sweet. <clears throat> I'd hit Luke with that chair. It's fucked up. It's fucked up. <laughs> I had to ship that and the t-shirt to Breach last year. <laughs> um, I was at WrestleMania 17, the Astrodome. Astrodome was a real toilet. Never been, so couldn't. But if you've been there, you're saying it. There, that's all you need to know right there. Keep doing what you're doing. Love the videos. Thank you very much, uh, Doughboy. Thank you very much for the comment. Doing my best to keep putting out more content. And like I said in the beginning of this, Tuesday Night Toys will be a bi-weekly Tuesday Night live stream. Uh, some cowboy at the Astro Astrodome flooded the pisser. It was gross. Oh, man. All right. So that's it for the wrestling stuff. Got one more thing to talk about. Pico's going to be excited. We got some Star Wars stuff to talk about. For Funko Fair, some Star Wars Funko Pops on the way. Very limited with the stuff that I actually really want. Um, but we're going to talk about it anyway. We're going to talk about it anyway, man. So uh, we got a couple different things from Funko. Not all Pops. We, they you know make a lot of products. They make pins. They make mystery minis. They make... Uh, what else do we got here? Uh, pocket Pops. Little keychains that you can throw in your backpacks and stuff like that. So we, we're going to run down everything real quick. Uh, so we got the Star Wars Pop keychains. These were actually already... Leaked. This is the way, Luke. This is the way. These were actually already leaked a few weeks ago before Funko. They were even revealed uh, at Funko Fair last week. Um, so there's two different sets of these little keychains. They're basically pops, but they're this big and they're on a keychain. So like I said, you can put them on your backpack or whatever. Um, but there's uh, an original trilogy set. So you got your Luke, your Han, your Leia, Vader, Boba Fett, R2, C3PO, a Stormtrooper, and I believe that's it. For, might be a Yoda too. No, no Yoda. Nah, I don't know. 
But there's an original trilogy set, and then there's a Mandalorian set with Mando, the child. There's, like, two different childs, probably, and, like, two different Mandos. Uh, pretty sure there's, like, a Moff Gideon. And, and, some, and maybe somebody else. But there's two different sets of the Pocket Pops, or Pocket Keychains. Pretty sure they're all, all for pre-order on Amazon, so if anybody is interested in those... Amazon's a place to go. They don't ship till like March, I think, and Amazon doesn't charge you till stuff ships. So best part about Amazon. Um, but yeah, so there's those coming out. Uh, they also got uh, new pop pins coming out, which I don't collect these. Um, the only way I'd buy them if I, if I found one of the Chase ones in stores, but I don't buy them. I don't need to get, add another Star Wars thing that I collect. But uh, there's a Han Solo and Carbonite coming out, a Lando and Leia and Skiff gear, um, a Job of the Hut and a Job of the Hut Chase, which looks like clear. I'm not really sure, or like Love in the Dark, they didn't really make it very clear uh, what the chase variant of this Jabba was, excuse me, excuse me, I'm talking for an hour and 15, um, but yeah, there's a Jabba the Hutt chase coming out, so that's cool, or for Pop Pins, uh, Pops themselves, there's a new Mandalorian Mystery Minis, which are the figures that are like this big, they're a little bit of a different stylized figure that Funko makes, um, you just buy them in the mystery packs that you can't see. Um, and you, you get a figure. There's like 16. There's like pretty much one for every Mandalorian character. Um, there's the first Mandalorian ones, though, so that's pretty cool. I've actually been wanting to buy a whole case of mystery minis and unbox them in a video or a live stream or something like that. I just, I've seen people do it on YouTube in the past. I thought it'd be cool to do it in a video, and if I was going to do it, it would have been with Star Wars ones because they don't, they don't make wrestling ones. And they, they did for a while. There was a set or two of WWE ones a few years ago, but they haven't made them in so long. So if I was going to do it with any ones, it would have been the Star Wars one. So, uh, yeah, I went and pre-ordered an entire case of these Mandalorian mystery minis. So when they come in, in February, March, whatever it is, uh, expect a video or a live stream of me unboxing literally a whole case. So, like, 12 boxes, I think, of these mystery minis. And we'll try to get all of them. Whoops! Uh, <laughs> anyway, uh, there's also Valentine's Day Star Wars pops coming out. I actually had a couple people, or not a couple people, but like one person in my comments on my YouTube video say that they were actually looking forward to these, and I saw a couple people on Twitter, I even saw somebody on TikTok say they're looking forward to these Valentine's Day Star Wars themed Funko Pops, so hey, hats off to you, even though I'm not wearing a hat, uh, these like holiday themed Pops that Funko does with like Marvel and Star Wars, where it's like, oh, it's Christmas, so it's Yoda and he's wearing a Santa hat, I'm good, I, there's other stuff, there's pre there's so many prequel trilogy pops that I want still like an attack of the clones Anakin there's so many attack of the clones pops actually we're not gonna get into all that but there's so many other Star Wars pops that I want Funko to make that when I see like stuff like this I'm like why are you wasting the time just just make some of these other pops please um where is my where is my new another set of season two Mandalorian pops I want a new Boba Fett so bad anyway we didn't get any of those revealed unfortunately but we got Valentine's Day Star Wars, Star Wars pops so is what it is um, and then the best stuff, obviously, revealed um, from Funko for Star Wars-wise was the Funko Pops himself. So we have a re-release of a Luke Skywalker on Hoth uh, pop that was already released four or five years ago in the original blue boxes. Maybe more than that, honestly. In the original blue boxes. I'll show you guys real quick. So it's pretty much... Goes with these two pops right here. So here's a Han Solo. Here's a Chewbacca. So it's pretty much the same style, but it's Luke in the Hoth gear. Um, it, well, I don't think it was an exclusive when it originally came out, but it's these. Um, but it's Luke Skywalker. But they're re-releasing it. I don't know why. Um, and in an updated box, it's going to be an Amazon exclusive, and it comes with a pin. I know a lot of people are like, "Why are they doing this?" Same thing here. I don't know why they're re-releasing it as well. Maybe it's because they're going to do a new line of pop and pin Star Wars things. I don't know. But I don't have that Luke, so I went ahead and pre-ordered it, so it goes with my set. But I don't know why they're re-releasing it. It doesn't really make any sense. Anyway, it is what it is. And then the new, new stuff, pop-wise, that got announced. Uh, Mike, it is time. We are getting a Rice Skywalker with a yellow lightsaber. New Rise of Skywalker Funko Pops finally coming out these should have came out at least at the very least during the summertime last year i was like all right san diego comic-con 2020 we're definitely getting rise of skywalker pops and we got nothing but we finally got rise of skywalker pops uh our new a new set of them revealed obviously the initial set came out before the movie even came out um and then ever since the movie us collectors have been waiting on a new set 
We're finally getting them. So we have Ray with the yellow lightsaber. We have Ray with two lightsabers, two, uh, two of the blue ones, hers, and uh, good old Ben Solo's, which is also getting his uh, pop, a Ben Solo pop. And he's doing a, his shrug uh, before he uh, murders all his knights, um, which is funny. Um, and then we also have a, a revived Emperor Palpatine, which is a really cool pop. I would have loved if they made this a 10-inch pop. Unfortunately, the 10-inch pop from this set is going to be, going to be Babu Frick. I'll be passing on that. It is what it is. Um, but the ones I got from this set, I went ahead and pre-ordered. And these aren't store exclusives or anything. Um, I'm pretty sure these are all common, so you should be able to find these depending on where they hit stores and, you know, GameStops, FYE, whatever. Um, but I went ahead and pre-ordered them, the three I wanted on Amazon, just so I didn't have to worry about it. Um, but I went and got the Ray with two lightsabers, the revived Emperor Palpatine, as well as the Ben Solo. Passed on the Ray with yellow lightsaber because I'm not a huge fan. Um, just of the sequel trilogy in general, and not a huge fan of the scene. It's a cool pop, don't get me wrong. But I went and passed on it. Um, and then I, I passed on the Babu Freck. Don't really care. He's pretty insignificant uh, in my Star Wars world. So I passed on that, but I got the other three. Um, and I pre-ordered... Technically, I, you know, I don't... I pre-ordered them on Amazon. So like I said earlier, Amazon doesn't charge me yet. So I don't got to worry about it. If I end up not even wanting these pops, I'll just cancel it before they ship. But I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to get them for the set. I do think they're cool pops. And uh, regardless of what I think of the movie, I've been wanting a Ben Solo. I've been wanting an updated Ray, And I've been wanting an Emperor Palpatine. Like a revived one. So we're getting those. It'll be cool. That's why I'm looking forward to it. I uh, wish they would have actually made a normal Sith Trooper. I agree. Of course, the only Sith Trooper that they made was the San Diego Comic-Con 2019 one, which is now worth... Not even sure. <laughs> it's worth a lot of money. It might be worth over a grand. You know what? Let's uh, let's find out. Funko app. Let's go ahead and see how much the uh, Star Wars Sith Trooper is worth. There's a Sith Jet Trooper, but it's not the same thing. This is a Sith Trooper. And it was the only Sith Trooper they made. And it was only a part of... Uh, is it even going to come up? Why is it not even coming up? Someone go on the Funko app and... <laughs> look up Sith, uh, Sith Trooper and get back to me. Because it's not even coming up on the Funko website. Let's go ahead, hold on. Sith Trooper Funko Pop. Somebody has it on Macari right now for $1,500. So that pretty much says everything you need to know about that. $1,600 on another website. A lot of money. A lot of money. Yeah, so that's uh, that's the only Sith Trooper we got. But uh, it is what it is. It's like $1,500. Yeah, there you go. I will never be uh, purchasing, spending $1,500 on a Funko Pop. I'm trying. I'm not. I'm trying to not spend fifty dollars on a punk on a Funko Pop like in in 2021. Even though I don't think I've ever really bought anything that was like over that money. I think the most I've spent on a pop is probably like 30, 40 bucks, and it was at like a convention or something like that. But yeah, I won't. I won't be purchasing that. But that's all the news I got between Funko Fair, Jazzware reveals, Mattel reveals. That's all I got. So, uh, like I said in the very beginning of this thing, an hour and 20 minutes ago, Tuesday Night Toys will be a live stream that I do bi-weekly here on the YouTube channel. I would do it every week, but honestly, I don't want it to not be worth it because, you know, there's only so much news that comes out. And like I said, if there's not a lot of news, I do plan on, like, just one, having random discussions like we kind of had in between here, like, you know, people in the chat, which I absolutely love. Thank you for everybody who's been in the chat all night. Really appreciate it. Um, so I plan on doing that, and then if there's not a lot of news, I plan on showing you guys anything I picked up. Um, I might even start saving some unboxings for the live streams in the future, like, instead of making a YouTube video, we'll see. Definitely, I'm gonna do that, so yeah, it's gonna be bi-weekly. I did write down the next date, so I had it in mind. So, uh, the next time I will be doing Tuesday Night Live Stream, or Tuesday Night Toys, uh, will not be next week, but it'll be the week after. So, Tuesday night, February the 9th, 10 p.m. Eastern Time. I will be right back here for Tuesday Night Toys. Of course, I'm going to be doing other YouTube videos, as always, in between all that in the next two weeks. Um, so, you know, it's not like this is going to be the only content. But the next time I'll be live streaming and doing a Tuesday Night Toys episode will be Tuesday night, February the 9th at 10 p.m. Eastern Time. So mark it on your calendars. I'll probably uh, do what I did here, even though I did it wrong this time around. But now that I know what I'm doing, I'll set it up right the next time. And... Uh, 
set up the live stream like a week in advance, so it's already scheduled, it's booked. You guys can put your reminders on if you care enough. But uh, yeah, thank you so much for everybody who tuned in to Tuesday Night Live Stream, uh, Tuesday Night Toys Live Stream, the inaugural edition. Um, I, I was honestly thinking nobody was going to be in here. But uh, I think we capped at like 10 people at one point, which, listen, for me, is really cool. I know that may not seem a lot to like some people out there. You know, I watch YouTubers who live stream and they have like 500 people, 1,000 people, whatever the fuck. But for me, honestly, ten, just having, you know, a handful of people in here talking about toys, having a random discussion, joking around a little bit, that's cool to me. That means a lot to me. So, like, straight up, like, thank you to everybody who tuned in from the get-go because right when i started live streaming a couple of people started you know jumping in here so like honestly thank you guys a lot um it's a major rip for me because i have all the pops and all the vc figures and black series figures for the sith troopers yeah so <laughs> i can imagine that being if you're trying to be a completist that's the one that's like eluding you would be very annoying um but yeah anyways guys i think that's where we're gonna cap this thing tuesday night toys inaugural edition in the books like i said the next time i'm gonna be doing this uh, it will be February the 9th, Tuesday night, of course, so I'll be back then. Obviously, there'll be videos and content in between. If AEW and UFC pictures of new figures are getting revealed tomorrow, that means I'll be working on videos tomorrow. And between tomorrow night and Thursday, I'll have up some new videos on the channel. And if my voice doesn't go, I plan on recording a podcast tomorrow. So there's going to be content coming out. Um, all my social media is linked in the description box below. So anybody who may have tuned into my channel for the first time for this, one, thank you. Two, if you want to keep up, obviously, like I said, all my social media is down below. My podcast, uh, all my, like all my social media. I don't know. <laughs> I'm jumping around here, but uh, yeah, that's where I'm gonna cap this, guys. Thank you so much. Like, comment, subscribe, do all that. Let's keep growing the channel. Tuesday night toys, inaugural edition in the books. No nation. Hit me up on Twitter. I'm gonna post the the the, uh, the the thread of all the figures that I've been talking about in a little bit. So hit my Twitter for that. I'm gonna start working on that in like 10 minutes after I get off this. So thank you guys for tuning in. Uh, see you guys very soon. See you in the next live stream. Peace.